Is this thing on? Hello? What's going on? Everything's so slow. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Do you guys know if there's any way to make the font bigger in the chat? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it closer. Oh, okay. My old lady eyes will suffer then. Oh, hey. What are you guys doing today? Who's the furthest away from me in the world right now? Is anybody in a different country? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. I feel like I should probably Sweden. Ooh, fun. Quebec? I've been to Quebec. Oh yeah, I have some friends there. Everybody there is super nice and so beautiful. <laughs> Good morning. Ooh, Germany. Oh, Michael. I saw Fresno and I got so excited. I was like, who's in Fresno? Wait, Michael, you're still in Fresno? Alaska. My family's from Alaska. Like, uh, my mom and my dad met there. Hey, Wyatt. <laughs> you gonna play bass? I mean, yeah, I'll probably play bass at some time. I was just kind of practicing, and I just, I'm just checking in right now. Kind of settling in to the stream hang. <laughs> so on, um, do you guys have any New Year's Eve plans? I miss you guys too. Oh my god. Okay, wait, we gotta return to that. You got a guitar. <laughs> Sleeping for New Year's Eve? Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah, so basically, I am gonna not be with my family or any of my friends this year except for the people in my bubble. So, um, <laughs> it sounds so weird to say that. It's such a normal thing to say, though. Uh, so my friend Molly is coming over here. Um, I think six o'clock we're doing it um we're gonna like play a couple songs and i think brianna's gonna sing a tune and just try to create a fake party um so if that's like a good time zone for you guys please come hang out with us i'm sure there will be champagne okay wait who got the oh so you got the same bass somebody said they got the same bass that i have i'm assuming are you talking about the five string yeah molly's amazing Fake party. Okay, well, whoever got that bass, that's amazing. And yeah, okay, so I prefer, I prefer the jazz bass. Um, just because, like, the neck is a lot thinner at the headstock. And if you, I mean, I'm sure it works for a lot of different people. But for me, I think um, subconsciously I did that. Or I, like, chose that one. Because when I was younger, I was probably even a little smaller. And it was just easier to play. You can hear the cars outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a life struggle for me. They're very close. <laughs> You're eating Burger King? I just had a Sai Jungle. Mm -hmm. Michael, you're very familiar. A Sai Jungle Cafe. I don't think it's a chain, so you probably can't get it, but it's amazing. It's like Brazilian style Acai, if there's any other kind. Um, I use different bases for different reasons. Like, I guess it's just like different songs require different sounds. And sometimes I need more range to get lower depending on what song we're doing. So I'll use the five string. And then um, the jazz is just a little bit more funky, bright sounding. And then I'll use the P bass for like a much more um, heavy rock sound. Um, so, God, I wish I could remember which songs I play what on right now, but... 
yeah so i have like a five string p and a five string j that i use and you'll just kind of see depending on the song if it's more of like a aggressive heavy rock tune um i'll use the the p my curls yeah guess who taught me this brianna gaffney yeah she's a pro we used to play in this um i do have tips for you unicorn i love that name okay so um brianna and i used to play in this band in vegas together i'm sure you've seen some embarrassing photos and videos online but um i miss brazil too we used to play like hilarious pop cover tunes and sing and act like idiots on stage <laughs> radio <laughs> yes <laughs> good times um no, I haven't met Dan and Maya's baby yet. Great question. I'm really, really upset about that, but obviously because it's COVID. But um, I'm sure they're just like super happy stuck inside with their beautiful child. Um, oh, heck yeah, I was nervous on stage with Panic for the first time. That was terrifying, but it was mostly just because like, I feel like Panic... The panic world is so like tight knit, like all, all you guys, like people who love panic or, you know, I just wanted to, to provide <laughs> the proper, whatever you guys needed. I was so worried that you guys weren't going to like me, honestly, but, oh yeah, she is the cutest baby. Rock and Rio stage. Amazing. Sweaty. Super sweaty. <laughs> Um, bass guitars, really it's just kind of whatever you like, whatever you like the sound of and what feels good under your hands. But, um, I loved the jazz bass just cause it's a little smaller. <laughs> I miss Dusseldorf so much. Oh, I think about that place all the time. <laughs> Man. So are any of you guys learning how to play any instruments right now? I mean, some of you are. I kind of want to talk about bass practices. I can get so carried away in this chat. It goes so fast. <laughs> My first performance experience. Hmm. First performance experience. It's a good question for a lot of people, actually. I, what was it? I was in a musical once when I was super little, but then it was also just like playing house shows and stuff, I think would probably be my first show. Um, those weren't very scary because I was young and with my friends and it didn't, there was like no pressure. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So I kind of feel like with your initial first performance though, like I had, I talk about this all the time, but I have crazy stage, right? I think it's because my mom used to like record me through my door when I was like trying to be like in their play and sing and stuff. She would like, record it and then show it to me later humiliating so I think that's what developed it but um <laughs> but I think everybody probably has a certain level of stage fright okay how are you guys practicing at home because you can't play with anybody else I'm assuming I want to hear what everybody's if you're learning an instrument what are you guys doing Wait, 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 slow down. You're self-teaching. Okay. Drawing is an amazing skill. Don't knock that. Okay, yeah. So. <laughs> Play blues. Okay, so I think this question, I kind of wanted to guide it. Because, like, for me, all I'm doing is learning tunes. And then, luckily, I have Molly who comes over sometimes and we practice. But, um... Like, if you have anybody in your circle, like, even if it's a parent, I think it's really helpful to play with other people. Because I can sit here and learn songs all day, but then when somebody else comes over and is like, hey, let's play that song we both know, it doesn't come out the same way. You know what I mean? So, um, I was telling this to Brianna, too. I think, like, if you get the chance, even if you just, like, shut off whatever you're playing with and then just play by yourself, like, do the same thing but alone, I think that's really helpful. <laughs> Musician. I'll have to look that up. Musician. I've never heard of that. You want to sing? I actually might be singing tomorrow. I have to ask Molly. Do you guys know the song Wish You Were Gay? Bass pedals. I know. We have to talk about that. We will. Trust me. But Wish You Were Gay. Do you know it? You do. 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. Billie Eilish. Um, Molly does this really cool, um, really cool version of it. And she like plays the melody and stuff. It's on her Instagram, but I was kind of, she wants to do that tomorrow or on New Year's Eve. And I think I want to see if I can like do a mashup of vocals and that together. Um, we'll probably be on here tonight doing like a test run of the sound. I'm not going to tell you when, but just if you see us going live for a second, just don't, um, don't think it's a real thing because we're just testing it. Not time to die. I don't know that one, you guys. What did I get for Christmas? <gasps> this, it's like a, you can't really see it, but it's like this really cool kimono robe. Actually, I'm going to show you because Alekos would be really happy that I showed you. Hold on. Hang on, hang on. Hold, hold your horses. Oh, here's Crash. <laughs> Tuck into the mic. Oh my gosh, isn't he adorable? Oh. Go get him, go get him. Okay. My ADD is to the max. Boom. Oh. Don't I look like a, like a witch? In a good way? <laughs> so cool, right? Yeah, Alecos did really good. Oh yeah. Silk, velvet. <laughs> thanks guys. Say thanks to Alecos. Kenny Lee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Almost drop something. Okay, so. You're learning to play gospel? Oh, that song is actually a lot trickier than I thought it was gonna be because um, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Let me see if I, if I play this tune on my computer because we were having sound issues last time, I don't know if you'll hear it. So you let me know. Let me see. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> the bass lines. Okay. Well, that's another story. Hang on. So, if you get to this chorus part, <laughs> that part is like to sing and play that at the same time is actually like really tricky. So, if you're learning that, I feel you. You have to like get the strumming pattern down and those breaks. Because that kind of makes the whole groove of the song. Yeah, gospel's so fun. That's actually one of the songs that taught me how to, like, attempt to belt. Because I didn't know how to do that before. But having to get that high harmony. Whew! That one's tough. Let's see. What else? What else is from that set? Oh, my gosh. Let's go through that really quickly. I think there's a live album on here. Where did it go? No. Oh, wait. Is it not? Hmm. What's your guys' favorite song from the, the last tour that we did? High Hopes is not difficult to play. Um, but, I mean... It's also just, like, a lot of, like, a... vibey, like, sliding around. That's kind of how I interpreted it. Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time is one of my favorite ones to play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we actually do this one in a different key. That's not on this album. Wait. Let me see if I can transcribe it. Yeah, there it is. We do it way lower live. <laughs> mm, this is bringing back so many like emotional memories. Oh, doing all the shouts, just walking around on stage. Oh man, I'm so sad. I miss it.
Wow, I totally forgot. It, you guys realize I haven't played these songs in, like, over a year. Like, if we went back and, like, did a rehearsal together, I'd have to sit down and run through all of them. How many? Oh, well, I mean, how many songs? It's kind of hard to know off the top of my head which ones are tuned down and which ones aren't. But, I mean, I'd say a good chunk of them because some of them are crazy high. Like, for those harmonies and stuff, it's just, like, we get in there and it's, like, you either have to drop it down an octave vocally, but then that doesn't translate. How old do you have to be? I, I think they're all ages, the Panic Concerts. Because I've seen people of all ages, like, right in the front. L.A. Devotee. Mm, what's that one? Hard to learn. I don't even remember now. Yes. Yeah, this one wasn't hard to learn. But what was the hardest one? I, You know what? Oh, wait. Let me see. Let me find this album. Hold on. Crazy Genius. Crazy Equals Genius is my secret favorite. Um, is that anybody else's secret favorite? I just like bass wise that it's super funky i wanted to play upright bass on this but it just kind of became <laughs> too much of an issue because like if i you know bring an upright bass like yeah it was gonna be <laughs> it was gonna be too much to carry around this upright bass and try not to destroy it right in the whole process hardest vocal parts um mm. Oh, not Hey Look Ma. What was the one with the hardest? Mm, 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 mm. Let me play it for you. I'm not going to sing it. Don't make me do that. I, oh, here it is. Yes. Silver lining. Let me show you the harmony. But like trying to belt it really loud is so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I'll sing soon. I promise. Thank you guys. Mm, singing and playing that at the same time? Sam? I want to see that. Oh, yes. Girls, girls, boys. Thank you, Spotify, for always being there for me. Hold on. Hmm. I always like want to um, kind of overplay on this one, which I have to kind of not do. And then I like miss my harmony because <laughs> this thing can get so funky and I kind of want to like slap it. Like, let me see. Is this loud enough for you guys? Can you hear the music like a decent amount? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite moment. Oh gosh, the slap. Yeah, the slap always cuts through, right? I feel like that's almost kind of, if you guys have ever been to NAM, it's this um, National Associa Association of Music, oh God, um, Merchants, okay? And, um, <laughs> Valid. Okay. Okay. So basically when you get there, it's just a million different musicians all in like one area of this like kind of warehouse vibe. And they're trying out all these different companies. Like every music company you know of is there. And in the bass department or bass area, all, you, all it is is like just constant bass slapping because it's the only way you can really hear yourself. And then it's also the best way to like look really impressive to the music vendors because you want their gear. Emperor's is super fun to play. Yeah, that one we actually definitely do in a different key, I think. I, definitely, I think. <laughs> Bro. Are you guys watching Jake Cham's streams? Because I haven't in a while. 
I don't know what he's doing. I think I actually called him during one the other day and he answered my call. <laughs> sometimes guys come on i think it would be really fun if i attempted to play a video game on twitch just out of sheer comedy just because like I, i'm not very good at video games jake is the coolest i know oh my god <laughs> did i tell you guys this yet this was a good question so um sean or shan shauna shauna i got it um i took two bass lessons and here's why so my my family like found my parents found this bass teacher in fresno oh no shit ike okay cool um and i went to my first lesson the guy was like really um showy like he was showing me like he's like if you take lessons with me you'll be able to do this and he would like just shred and i just remember thinking that was so weird I'm like why are you doing this for me i like have no idea what anything is at all and then next time i went there he like wasn't on track with what we had done last time like he didn't even remember what the lesson was and then we realized after that that it was twins two twins like pretending to be the same person <laughs> how crazy is that oh my god <laughs> and also terrifying because i was there with him like by myself he was obviously a super creepy dude You guys want to, <laughs> dude? I'll stream some. I'll stream some video games with you guys. But I don't know. Like, do I need a different computer? I think I do. Right? I mean, like a PC. I actually think that would be really fun. Headspace. I did that last time, so I feel like I shouldn't do it again because that would be like overkill. What's gifted? You got gifted. What is that? Gifted. Guys. Northern downpour, I don't know. <laughs> if I open a P.O. box, I'd have to pay for it. <laughs> I already have a storage unit. It's just too much stuff. I really appreciate that you guys want to send stuff, though. Game Five Nights. Uh, there's a game that Brendan was telling me about that's about, like, hunting ghosts or something. That sounds like my jam. I like um, scary movies and like all that, like haunted, haunted stuff like that. Fat, phasmophobia. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a note of that. That's probably gonna be the one. Where's my pencil? Okay, I'll just put it in my notes. How did I get? Didn't I? Did I tell you guys the story or no? Okay, so I got to play with Panic. Um, when I was playing with Miley, I got linked up with Fender, and, um, <laughs> that's not, okay, so I got to play with Miley Cyrus, and then Fender, my rep from there, was having lunch with somebody, I don't know who it was from the Panic team, but, um, they were talking about how they were gonna need a new bass player soon, and, um, because the tour was coming up pretty hot, I think, at this point, and, uh, he, my representative recommended me um and i guess thanks to instagram like they all just kind of like sorted through insta and saw some videos and then had me um this is the funniest part they just sort of like had me come over to the house <laughs> we're gonna play that video game i promise uh, and then we just like i i brought my bass and i like prepped some tunes like that i you know that i thought like we'd end up playing together <laughs> and we just ended up drinking and like hanging out by the pool and just like like that picture you saw from that first hang like, i think zach used it as like the release or something of the whole thing but um yeah that was what we were doing just sitting there drinking outside <laughs> it was so fun and then like at the end of the night we jammed but that's literally how that all happened <laughs> wait what hellblade okay Michael, if you're here, please take note. These are all things I've never heard of. Water parks. We talked about this last time. I forgot. I forgot. Let me see. Hold on. Because I forgot, we're going to do this right now.
Okay. This is dope, actually. This reminds me of, like, my childhood. 100%. You might get... you. Wait, what? what is that? DCM aid? Somebody explain. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, I don't know. What is it? Copyright. Oh, because I'm playing other songs? <laughs> oh, God. That would be so funny. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, water park sounds sick. I'll check them out some more. Um, okay. Brendan had issues? Ay ay ay. Come on, world. It's already like up for stream for everybody to hear. It's so funny. His own stuff? Oh, so it's just like a like an automated system shutting it down. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about this song. Can anybody recognize what I'm playing just from these four chords? It's not, it's not a panic tune. Can I sing a song with Brendan? I love that. Nobody knows what this is. Nobody said anything. You guys, this is the song. This is uh, Wish You Were Gay. But it is like the same four chords used in almost every song, so. I have this feeling that I'm gonna end up streaming with <laughs> Brendan and Jake where they try to like teach me how to play a video game. I see it coming. It's in my future. As much as I like, you know, put my hand up and said no to playing video games with them, like most of tour. You can't fight it. It's coming. <laughs> Dude, tell B that. I would love to jam with him. <laughs> oh my god. Singing Blue with Troy. Oh my god, that was such a special moment in my life. Okay, so it's my mom's dream. She she supports that I'm a bass player, but she deep down wishes that I was sing singer. I think that's just because like the way the world views vocals, you know, it's like this really special thing, like touches people a lot. So when I got that opportunity to do Blue, like we did it the whole tour um, and we came to LA to play our show, like on our, you know, on our run and my mom finally got to come and she was going to see me sing it and she was going to like cry. And then at the last minute, the girl who was actually on the album showed up <laughs> and sang it instead. My mom was so, so mad. So mad. Dua. Did you know that Dua was on that tour with us? Like she was opening for Troy. I remember at we were standing side stage and Troy was like, she's going to, she's going to blow up. This girl's gonna be huge. <laughs> Hysteria. Oh my gosh. I just taught, um, I think she's like 10. I just taught my like 10 year old student how to play that. She's a legend. Get another tattoo? Heck yeah, I would get another tattoo. Fender Mustang. Christian! <laughs> An Iron Maiden song, you guys. Let's play some funk. Let's do like, uh, who likes lettuce? What does the X mean on base tabs? Oh, the X, if I can remember correctly, means a ghost note. <gasps> Bass lesson, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull you closer. Sorry if I'm yelling, I get excited and I shout. So if I do a regular note, right? Boom, boom, it rings out. But if I do a ghost note, I kind of rest my hand on there to stop the sound and I, I still pluck and it just makes this cool sound right you hear it in like tons of music like right and it's just adds some percussion a lot of flavor cool in the gang 
Yeah, I love lettuce too. So fun. Let me see. Let's see what song I love. <laughs> I like this one, Relax by Lettuce. Oh, God, wait. I can't play because I'm going to get um, Let me see. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Fight the machine. Okay, how it goes? Yeah. Do do boom Yeah. Ah, it's just so funky. Okay. Am I going to get shut off? The bass reads too much. I don't, I can't control it. I also do this other thing. Um, maybe you guys, hey Kaylee. F fave bass techniques. Okay, we'll come back to that. Real solid question. Um, I also do this other thing on stage. I'm sure I've done it with panic, but it's like this, this like grind motion and it's not supposed to be like a sexual thing. It's just like an accidental movement. It's like my face. It's so weird. <laughs> Marcus Miller's bass hang. I haven't, but he actually signed my, that like blonde bass that I used to use before it, it is broken right now. But um, he signed it when I was in uh, college. And then of course I was just like this, you know, partying 21 year old. And I just took it to gigs and didn't do anything to maintain the, sign the signature. And it rubbed off from my sweat because I'm an idiot. I will make emotes. I will with that. I'm I'm slowly figuring everything out here. <laughs> bass. Mm. Because I didn't realize uh, bass was, I kind of realized I wanted to do it the most. Because the music I was listening to was mostly bass focused. And I guess it's impossible to really put that together until you're like a couple steps ahead. You know, and you can look back on it and be like, oh yeah. But um, all the music I was into was super groove and bass line you know, focused. And so then when I started playing bass and I could learn all my favorite tunes and like that was what was guiding the song, it made sense to me. But I kind of think people should just be trying everything a little bit because you never really know unless you've tried something, right? <laughs> okay, wait, let me see. Kaylee asked my favorite bass techniques. Um, there's this one that I never really like learned anywhere, but um, take my rings off. That's not bass pro take those off okay so if you kind of like put your hands together your fingers like this rather than proper technique right like this you can kind of muddy up your sound right make it warm so like rather than just clear right if I do the same thing like this Right? It just kind of makes it warm. And maybe it's kind of hard to cut through here, but if you're a bass player and you're home with your stuff, just try it. Like kind of rest your fingers on the strings and it mutes it a little bit rather than palm muting like most people do down here. And if you watch um, more like R&B soul bass players, you'll see um, they kind of do that. Like they're playing tons of notes, but their hand still kind of stays like this. And I think it's for tone. A basis I admire. Hmm. I love to, like, lean on Tal Wolkenfeld just because she's my girl. Like, not personally, but I, I just love that she's a chick and, you know, she did it before a lot of other people did. Thanks, Kaylee. I love that you hear me. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> hmm. I learned... <laughs> the first song I learned on bass was Black Magic Woman. Let me see if I can, uh... Right? It's just kind of like, kind of like bluesy, uh, pentatonic vibes, like. Do you remember when you played We 
with Shell. How do you know about that? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That's a whole nother time of my life. But yes, I do remember that. And we had a blast. <laughs> Favorite brand of whiskey? Mm. Right now I'm drinking a lot of Bullet. But um, there's way better brands. I'm just not really like worldly with whiskey. I just kind of take whatever I can get. Who is going to wants to go to MI and I told him that. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, MI is awesome. It's really just like, um, I say consider all music schools for sure. Like, I, you know, people want to know what the best one is. And I just sort of think it varies depending on who you are. You know, like what you what genre you're trying to study and, you know, what what direction you want to go. Hmm. <laughs> right now I'm really into that PJ Morton Christmas album. Have you guys heard it? I can't. I'm going to be careful about what I play. But he does like, um, da, 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 da. he does like um, a reggae version of a Christmas tune. It's so fun. PJ is one of my favorite people right now. So. If you get a chance, I'm going to type it in here so you guys can see. PJ Morton. Bam. Madison Cunningham. I know that name. <laughs> I haven't met PJ. No. Um, Maroon 5 guys. No. That would be pretty cool. PJ Morton is, um, he's a singer, like, piano player. He's, uh, he's, like, a songwriter. If you look him up on Spotify, he's, um, he's real dope. Dream band to play for. I've always really wanted to play with Erica Badu. Um, my genres are pretty, pretty narrow, you can see. Let me see, all kind of one thing. Erica Badu, she's, like, um... She's like this super vibey, like hippie lady, um, kind of like R&B, hip hop, soul stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so he's not like a Maroon 5, like that's not his thing. Um, PJ is like his own entity. So dope. So dope. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, Erica is. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So I listened to Panic when I was like, I kind of obviously because my style like these days is so R&B funk heavy. I, I listened to them in like more high school and then I drifted off into my, you know, bass study headspace where I was just doing much more bass oriented things like, um, you know, like I loved getting into the fusion and all that stuff and I just went away for a while. Kaya Stewart. Kaya Stewart is still awesome. Alexis, how do you know so much about this right now? Kai is so cool. That's what I did. Um, oh my god, what's that tour called again? Ugh, I used to go to it all the time. Dude, this is my memory right now. I can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Playlist on your personal Spotify. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's a really great question, actually. Um, I think I have one on there. That's pretty... Maybe not obscure, but the um, playlist I have on there should be public. Hang on, let me see if I can, like, slap that link in here. That would be really cool. I have a couple different ones. Copy. Wait, how do I share? Bam. Okay, so this one I posted a long time ago. Here's a Spotify playlist. Yeah, and then... There's some other ones that I have that I don't, I don't think are shared, but let me see if I can share them with you. Hmm. Oh, here's one we did. I don't, some, some people ended up coming out to this, but when we could play shows, we did, um, wait, this isn't it. That's not it. Hold on. Nicole versus Cozy. That's what this playlist is called. This one's really cool. Copy playlist. Bam. This playlist was from um, when Alekos and I 
did this like you know live show i forgot what the bar was called but um we did a live show and that was what we kind of built our set list off of we didn't play everything obviously but um i really like that playlist some good stuff and if you if you have spotify if you turn it on um and then you scroll below the playlist it gives you recommended songs um that are similar to that and i think that's a really great way to kind of just like put that on like let it play through if you're just hanging around the house if you want to get into a different kind of style and this i think would really help i know i hate this coyote god god like so good so good <laughs> yeah of course you're welcome um favorite thing about australia kaylee <sighs> Oh my god. I don't I don't I can't remember like what my favorite thing was. I mean I oh, one thing that really stood out to me, I I drove just to challenge myself. I drove um an a manual stick shift car which, you know, in Australia, they drive on the opposite side of the road as we do. So that was pretty exciting. Um I drove all the way up to um Oh, God. What's that place called? Um, hold on. I need an Australia map. Australia map. 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 It's like that um, northeast end. Come on, Kaylee. Help me here. Cairns. However you say it. Can Cairns. <laughs> Anyways, I drove myself there. Um, and I remember I was like leaning on a tree. <laughs> and this man walked by and he goes, oh, be careful. Like, there's spiders right there. Right, right there. Cans. <laughs> and there was, there was a spider, like, right next to my hand that was blended in to the tree. And it was apparently, like, guarding its children. Oh, my God. I just remember being like, this is Australia. This is what I've been told my whole life. I was trying to, was like, because that's what, that's what Americans think just every other step is in Australia. It's just like some, some crazy creature, you know, like just danger, constant danger. <laughs> oh my gosh, mate, you guys. <laughs> my shirt, <gasps> Lena, is that how, you, yeah, Lena. Okay, well, you guys and your tricky names. So this shirt, this shirt has a huge hole in it. Where is it? That's my armpit. <laughs> but this is Josh's shirt, actually. My older brother. Wow. Um, what does it say on it? Oh, it's from Whistler. So he actually had a van just like this. It was blue. And he installed a... Um, do you guys remember Rock Band? Is that like a thing still? He installed Rock Band with like a big flat screen TV into like the, the like cargo area <laughs> and um everybody would like he would drive it to like our house parties and stuff and everybody would sit in the back and play and uh his did not have the canadian flag no but uh it, this like his car became a legend so cool so i think that's kind of why he loved this shirt so much but now i wear it and i think it's sick dude lena I even, it's, it got really a problem. Like I would take, whenever my brother would get like sick of a pair of his pants, I learned how to sew and I would just alter them and make them my pants. And I think, I think I invented <laughs> this new current wave of wearing boy pants that are all destroyed. And it was just by accident, just because I, I needed, I didn't have the money to buy these cool pants that I wanted. <laughs> the, oh, you said the misfits and I got really excited about the band. I do not know. Hmm. Ooh, the panic tattoo. Yes, I will. I will, 100%. I think I didn't last time because my whole career has been sort of like bouncing around from different um, artists. And it like, you know, I, I'm so used to just not being part of the family and being kind of kept in the background for everything and not being like, yeah, just part of the family. And I think um, it took me a while to understand that, like, that's what this is. Um, so, yeah, next time we do it, I'm definitely getting the tattoo. Hands SQ for photos and autographs. Yeah, they do, Miguel. 
they do ask um but that's kind of hard because of like like right now it feels a little can't just like accept everything you know because the way the world also did you guys hear that there's a new strain of covid or is that just (laughs) emo phase yes but also please let me know if you've heard of this new strain of covid because i'm scared (laughs) thank you samantha dude that's so scary are we all just gonna like well there's no more woods to move to i guess Let's all just move to Alaska. Whoever, I know somebody in here is from Alaska. We're all, we're all going to move in with you and hide because you live in the closest thing to nature. <laughs> play, I can't play sax. You guys, haven't you seen my Instagram videos? <laughs> Do I dislike taking pictures and setting? No, I don't dislike it at all. Um... I just, I mean, we don't really do that a lot. I think we did it one time where, like, we were able to go out and, like, meet everybody. And it's, like, it's just, like, really tiring, honestly, because it's, like, so many people. I I love coming across, like, um, where was I last that this happened? I was traveling somewhere and somebody, um, somebody, you know, said something to me. Like, she recognized me and, um, it's funny because I, uh, I feel like there's that level of when people are really too shy to say anything, but at the same time, they don't know that I'm just really shy. And, you know, I I think most people love to meet other people who are into it, you know, like fans and stuff. Um, it's just either you're doing like a, a mass meet and greet, which is kind of doesn't feel personal, or you're doing it on the street and people feel like they can't, you know, but I think everybody likes that. It's fun. <laughs> wait when i met you and all that goes oh wait wait stop there we go i left my your phone at the venue <laughs> oh my gosh oh so you were at that show that's awesome wait are you talking about oh now i'm not sure what you're talking about maybe on tour but when you met all and i that's so funny I lost my phone recently too, and I'm sure, I'm sure someone has it. <laughs> oh my god, I can sign a flute? Is that possible? I'll work on my signature. It's really ugly. It's real bad. <laughs> the Misfits kids go to your school, Emma? I gotta figure out what this means exactly. Avril Lavigne? You guys, that's my twin. Let me let me meet Avril. I think that would be so fun. Oh, I used to be a huge Avril fan. I can sing you all the songs. I mean, I'm not going to because it's embarrassing, but I could. Do you guys all know each other? I feel like I see you guys talking to each other as if you're homies. What got you into music and stuff? literally came out of the womb singing. I feel like most people are like that. I had like a, I had this box of cassette tapes from like Disney movies. (laughs) Most of you do. (laughs) I love that. I kind of wish that I could see you guys. Sorry, ADD, I'll return to that other topic, but I wish I could like see you guys sometimes because I'm just reading and I want to see faces. I'm a face person. Um... (laughs) Okay, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, I have this box of cassette tapes that were all Disney movie themed. Pocahontas was my favorite, and Lion King, of course, and I would put my, like, foamy headphones on, you know, those old ones that are really plastic and painful, and I would just wail, like, just go hard, and Josh would always be like, shut up, all the time. That was my life. That's how I got into music. (laughs) Vocally, but not with picture. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, so for the next one, maybe not the one with, maybe actually with Molly. I'm gonna look into that, if that's actually a possibility, because that would be so cool. (laughs) Fan club, Miguel? I don't know. I don't really know how that works. 
<laughs> Since you said I can... <laughs> Sam! Look you. <laughs> Is that a cool... I mean... I don't know if that's a cool story necessarily. I feel like... Doing anything like... Well, finding what you love in general is kind of exciting, right? It's always like a happy accident. <laughs> that's a like, Kaylee, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Like all these people, all of you guys in one place, <laughs> all talking at once. Like just look at the chat. This would be just a wall of sound. <laughs> Calypso's the legend now, huh? I feel like I'm really getting to know you guys. This is like the second one I've done. <laughs> Alexis, we are definitely doing a song with Brianna. I, I don't want to give it away, but I kind of want to see if you guys know what it is. Um, Wait, let me... Hold on, it's in my AnyTune app. Because I had to change the key. We were trying to find the key yesterday. Um, Henry. Okay, I'm just gonna play it. Maybe since it's in a different key, it won't get flagged. Wait, hold on. I've got this. You guys hang tight. So this is actually a guy singing this, but it might sound like a woman because I upped the key for her. I'm just gonna jump into the chorus. Hold on. Play. Shot me like an electric eel, baby girl. Yeah. Can you hear it? Your electric feel. This is electric feel. She's going to sing this tomorrow. I can't wait. She has the most beautiful voice. It's going to be dope. I keep saying tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. It's the day after. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. Turn me on with your electric feel. Heck yeah. Oh my god. Alexis, I want to see this chorla. You remind me of a cool aunt. I think that's probably my favorite thing that anybody's ever said to me. I kind of become a cool aunt because Brianna has three nephews and they come over sometimes. And I used to be really afraid of kids. Um, like, you know, in a normal way. <laughs> and I learned how to, like, you know, just, like, engage with them and play. And now I think I've got it figured out. <laughs> I know nobody goes to Alaska. Why is that? There's plenty, there's plenty to do there. I know that like there's places for concerts, right? Maybe it's just that like flight. I don't know. <laughs> Join the panic. Okay, wait, I see your link. Hold on. Click. <laughs> okay. Accept the invite. Is that a picture of Dan? Oh my god. <laughs> Did you guys see the shirt? Oh my god, I'm gonna show you right now. Hold on. Allow. I have no idea what's happening right now, you guys. What am I getting myself into? <laughs> what is going on? Is this just like a different chat? Okay, I'm in, so I'm going to come back to you guys because I don't know what I'm doing really, but I'm in the Discord. <gasps> B's new Christmas song? Dudes. Dudes. All the feels. Like that song? Mm. Elise. Right? Yeah, Elise. That song is so awesome. There's a lot of beeping going on on my computer. What is this? <laughs> Wait, so are we also chatting in just another place? Somebody explain what's happening. Mm. <laughs> you know, so much beeping. I don't know how to control it, you guys. This is your lives now. This is the beeping that you will forever hear. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to mute it. Wait, let's see. Continue. Shh. Guys. 
Did you know? Okay, wait. There's a mute. No, that's not mute. Oh my gosh. How do I do this? Muting. Indications, notifications from appearing. Let me just try a couple things. Is that gonna help? Okay, I think it worked. Yes, okay, good. Muting, or the beeping has stopped. Oh! We broke the PA. Are you guys talking about... Oh! Were you guys at that show? When, the, when everything just like shut off and we had to just like freaking like tap dance on stage? <laughs> okay, so if that's what you're talking about, um, we, so I don't, honestly, I don't know exactly what happened. I think like there was one of the runner cables, like, so if you look at, there's um, the guy mixing the sound, like kind of behind you when you're watching the show. And then there's usually like an open gap where like in between you guys and the stage, right? Like where all these cables are. And I think one of those cables had gone, like something it, like died or something. I still don't know all the details. And I don't think anybody really knew. I think they just did all the troubleshooting, you know, possibilities and, and it worked out. But um, yeah, everything, if that's the show you're talking about, like when all the lights and like everything went dark, that was so fun. I really like everybody else was like, kind of worked out, but I was like, ooh. Wait, oh, okay, wait, Emma, I've got you. Thanks, Emma. Okay, wait, what exactly? So there's two different things. Wait, 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 wait. Oh God, the beeping's back. <laughs> Did it work? Ah, <gasps> yes, I muted it. Nope, didn't mute it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. You guys, I need help. Need the mental, emotional, and technological support. Mute. Okay, I think I did it. Yes. What exactly? <laughs> yeah. You guys, overwhelming to the max. I think I'm gonna need to like look at that at a separate time, right? Cause like there's two things happening here. Is this just, somebody explain this to me. Is this just a chat that exists all the time? Like what's the difference? What's up with Discord? <laughs> oh God, there's more beeping. Messenger app. Or a site that also does games. <laughs> Is your name Lesbian Lol? I love that. <laughs> Dude, congrats on your COVID vaccine. That's awesome. We can watch movies, chat, do anything in Discord. No way. I just watched um, two and a half paranormal activities recently. Um, I got like halfway through the third one and I, I just kind of, I got so scared. If you haven't seen them, I recommend them. Yes, movie night, every night, by the way. Um, <laughs> what Discord are you talking about? <laughs> like, I know. I don't know. Let me see. Um... This says Nicole Rose, S-E-V-E-R. They're, they're linked in this chat somewhere. And then this one, Panic at the Discord. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many terms of service. You guys. Miguel! <coughs> ah, I just dropped my base! <laughs> oh my god, I wish I knew the old Panic members. Oh my god, I would probably fangirl, honestly. Like, that'd be so sweet. 
Ratatouille musical? No. Going to be. I don't know. Honestly, 2021, I don't really know what's going to happen. Like a lot of my, my gauge for all this is the fact that some of my, um, in my opinion, like most influential musicians in LA are like not, they're like, oh, like living other places right now, like temporarily. Um, I see, I see something I want to respond to. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really, I can't predict if like there's going to be shows or anything. I would assume that if everybody gets the vaccine, but even like, how do they, how do they keep track of that? You know, there's people who are not going to get it and your guess is as good as mine. I would love to be touring though. Okay. And Nicole Rowe, that like that handle on social media, I just, I think somebody had it a long time ago. And so I just, um, you know, when I had like what, 500 followers on Instagram had like Nicole S. Rowe because my middle name starts with an S. Um, and I, you know, it works, <laughs> but it's not confusing. The LGBTQ community, like, am I a part of it? I don't really, like, I'm not, like, a part of it. Like, I don't really know how to explain that. But um, I'm definitely not, like, you know, a terrible person. And I'm, like, against it. I'm just not, like, I guess I'm just really, really boring. <laughs> Pretty standard, like... <laughs> <gasps> Shh. Yes, my middle name is Sue. Don't tell everybody. It's embarrassing. It's actually a family tradition. So my, um, <laughs> it's so country. Um, my family, all the women, their middle names are Sue. And so it's like a passed down thing, which don't tell my mom. I'm kind of thinking of breaking that because I want something a little like, you know, a little wild. Wait, Kaylee. Oh, yeah. Where's Taco? I am assuming there's there's a blanket right here, so I'm assuming he's inside of it. Um, he probably doesn't want me to wake him up. Wait, let me let me just see if he's in there. Taco. Oh yeah, he's in there. His little body. Let's see. There he is in the blue blanket. <laughs> Like a horse? Wait, my name's Renee. Like a. <laughs> How is that like a horse? <laughs> Have you guys seen Kaylee's new dog? Murphy. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming none of you guys have seen him, but I have. He's awesome. So cute. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the puppet? Me and the puppet are not friends. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> oh, Renee. I get it. I get it. The human. Okay. Doing a panic show? Mm, my favorite thing to see or hear during a panic show. That's really hard. I mean, there's so many different things. Like, sometimes the signs, sometimes there's really funny signs. And it's fun to, like, if you see something hilarious, like, we're all wearing in-ears so we can't communicate. But if you, like, if I look at Dan and I'm like, look, look, like, sometimes he'll see what I'm looking at. And that's fun. And I also really enjoyed, everybody kind of started doing this or, like, the half heart thing. And then I would, like, create the other half. That was really fun. <laughs> I also loved, um, there was somebody from Fresno brought like a sign um, that said bassists, bassists are the best. And I still have it. It's in my storage unit though. It's not here because it wouldn't be safe here. <laughs> Favorite activity after a show? After a show. I mean... I don't want to be a bad influence, but, like, obviously, if we would, like, party, that was always fun. Or we would, like, watch a movie, um, you know, to try to, like, calm down a little bit. 
<laughs> yeah, Murphy is Kaylee's puppy. Sorry, if I, I just get distracted and I kind of like spiral on different topics. Pete Wentz, heck yeah. Now I do. <laughs> He's a gem. Such a sweet guy. Did me, me and Mike actually hang out a lot. Yeah, um, not like lately because everything's kind of, everybody's kind of scared here. We're all like trying to be good for our, for our elder people. But um, Mike comes over occasionally and we'll like jam or, you know, like work on writing, you know, guitar and bass parts. And uh, yeah, Mike's awesome. <laughs> Wait, your name's Tristan? Wait, 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 wait. So I have the name. So you just call yourself Claire, but your name's Tristan. You don't think Tristan's a cool name? I love that name. That is so cool. It's not funny. We none of us like what we have. Like me, like like I always even think about that when you're like doing your hair or putting on makeup. You know, we're all just trying to like <laughs> modify whatever we have. <laughs> Hmm. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. My madre is texting me. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some of these questions are so funny. Crazy equals genius. The hardest bass panic song to play. No. No, it's not. Um... It was because it's like a lot of movement. A doom 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 ba doom doom boom. I could just play the actual bass. Um, but I don't remember what I'm singing. Something like that, right? Like a lot of walking. Um, but uh, I think whatever, like the difficult part was learning to sing and also doing like any extra stuff that I wanted to do. Um, like as a as a bassist singing BGVs, that's the thing is like if you want to improvise or do any flair, which I love, <laughs> um, if you're singing a background vocal, it makes it really, really almost like near impossible to do it unless you've practiced it, you know? Stay. <sighs> I love Panic at the Disco too. Kaylee, you probably can sing. I can't sing, but people just tell me I can, so I do it. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, that Vegas band that I used to play with, with, um, with Brianna, I got that gig because the band leader called, like, got my number from somebody, and he was like, can you sing lead and play bass? And I was like, yeah. I've never, I had never done that before. I didn't know. And so I just, like, faked it. My funniest tour memory. Those questions, Becca, those ones always get me because it's impossible to remember it. <laughs> we did have a snowball fight once and it got caught on camera. That was really fun. Initiated by me. The internet, yes, I love the internet. And not the internet, I'm talking the band, yes. And I actually saw them before they were big at... Uh, God, some festival I was playing. Um, yeah, it was, they're super good. Live, they're really good. <laughs> the bully of the band. <sighs> That's a good question. Because we're all really nice to each other. But I think it's not so much that there's a bully. It's like, who is the, the like, not sensitive one, but the one who we all, like, lovingly gang up on. And that would be Mike. And I, I don't know if it's just because of, like, he's the newest, but <laughs> we mess with Mike so hard. And he just kind of, like, sweetly takes it, even though he should just be, like, you know, giving us all, like, slaps in the face. Um, I got in contact with Fender because I just, like, played them a lot and, like, oh, wait, no, that's not true. That's a lie. I actually have a friend. Um, he was, it's just always friends of friends. I have a friend who was a friend of my rep at Fender, and he just, like, introduced him to me. The Cure, of course. 
I love The Cure. I used to like play all their tunes. Poor Mike. Mike loves it. Mike, he'll tell you. I'm actually, I want to get him on here just to like hang. Um, maybe like next week. I'm, I'm thinking of keeping this time like as like a schedule. Um, if that's cool with you guys. I can do lots of other times. It's not like I'm doing anything. Mike. Um, I think, yeah, be Brendan streams on Twitch and then not Dan. Dan's like, I don't think Dan would ever do that. He's like the, I don't think you guys understand. Dan doesn't get enough love. He is one of the most incredible people I've ever met. The shirt. See, I just spaced. We have to look at this shirt. Hold on. Hold your horses. I'm in my closet finding the shirt. So, if you guys know anything about Alicia Keys, you know that she's, um, the best person of all time. <laughs> Dan made this for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it was on my story. I, d and then I made, like, this, um, I was kind of sick over Christmas, so I, like, stayed in and made this, um, like, little bass. I was, like, jamming over Christmas tunes. And then I posted the video of, like, a clip of me playing, and I was so mad that I wasn't wearing the shirt in it. But I need to use it for something. Like, 100% need to use it for something. Because it's awesome. <laughs> Everyone say thank you, Dan. <laughs> Wear it on stage? You know I would. You know I would. That would be so much fun. Just, like, that, like, super intense stage outfit plus this shirt over top. <laughs> Wait. By default. That's a really good question. Marissa, you must be a musician. Um, the bass line that I always go back to is... I seriously can't remember where I learned this. I was in music school, and um, somebody showed me a live... Whoa, that's my alarm. <laughs> Somebody showed me a live version of, I don't even know, something. And the bass line was so dope and it just got like imprinted. And it's like this, um, you probably see me doing it constantly. It's just like all it is is that doo doo boom, but down. That's the key point to the whole thing. But um, if you just like jam in, like jam in a minor pentatonic, it's so it's just so easy and chill, and you can make it like uh, your major six with your minor seven and make it. <laughs> yeah, it's just cool. The gorillas. Oh my god, yes. Oh. oh my god, I remember being being my young version of myself, driving my blue truck around listening to, to the gorillas. Because you had crimped hair in the videos. When did I ever have <laughs> When did I have crimped hair? <laughs> the concert outfit. So initially, this is a really funny thing. Initially when we were, I think it was that first time we were talking about what I would wear on stage. And I was like, um, I'm super, like, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I have to, like, <laughs> wear makeup and be all girly and, like, sexy, you know, because that's kind of a lot of what the entertainment industry is, right? So I was like, I'm going to wear a suit. And, uh, and they all seemed really excited about it. And then we got the suit. And I wore it a couple times, but it just, like, it just didn't work, man. It just wasn't fun and it was really hard to play in. Those guys, like, a lot of power to them for playing in those suits because those are hard. But, um, my lips are dry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we eventually, like, when well, I was, like, Forever 21 and I just bought, like, all the stuff I needed for that outfit. We were, like, on tour. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I try really hard. The world needs to change a little bit for, for the girls in the world. 
favorite Disney Channel show? Disney Channel show. See, that's like, that's a little far out for me. I don't know what my favorite Disney Channel show is. Um, I was more of like a Nickelodeon person. I don't have like a TV with like cable anymore. So I'm not like, I don't have that stuff running. <laughs> Show them the truth. Look at all these feminists in here. I love this. <laughs> Pop-up shows. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so those pop-up shows, I really liked those a lot. Um, I There's something like really special about being able to see everyone when you're playing. Like, you know, when, you, when we're doing those huge shows, there's so many people that you can't connect with, but in the small ones, it's loud and everybody's like right there and it's sweaty and it's hot. And like, I really like that a lot more personally, but to not be a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys that is not yeah yeah and when i was kaylee when i was in that vegas band the drummer the band leader told me he was like you have to wear more make wear more makeup and you have to dress sexier like i it was just like part of the gig and it just wore on me and the day i quit i was like yeah like <laughs> felt so empowered and also like who plays bass in heels like, no offense if you do. If you can, that's rad. I can't do it. I will literally fall on my face. Yeah, boy, so I'm going to Mmm. There's this song that David Bowie does. Oh, God, what's it called? Hold on, let me find it. This is... I haven't listened to this song in forever, but... I actually got to do it with another artist. Um... Hang on, hang on. Let me Google. No. Nope. Heroes. Duh, that's what it's called. Um, I'm assuming you guys have heard Heroes by David Bowie. But um, it's really beautiful. <laughs> Wait, acoustic show on double bass. What did I miss here? I don't understand. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. I don't play Animal Crossing. I don't. No. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, David Bowie's amazing. Favorite bass line? That's a really tough question. Um... I was really into this one by Anita Baker, which is so random, but let me, let me play this for a quick second and see if we get in trouble. Anita Baker, I think it's called Mystery? No, that's not the one. Anita Baker, um, oh my god. Let me see. Anita Baker's like a random name. If any of you know who that is, I'm gonna be shocked. Oh my god. I can, like, hear it in my head, but I can't remember the name. Where's the albums? Show me her albums. Give me them. Turning back the hand. What is it called? Um, Miss No Mystic. Oh my God! Just watching me try to process this is so funny. Sure. Yeah, is it? Okay, maybe it's not on Spotify. But anyways, it's like, um, boom. I don't remember the key, but. Um, it's a lot cooler when it's not on this clanky ass bass, but let me find it online and I'm gonna share the link with you guys because you need to hear it. Mystery. It is called Mystery. Mystery. Da, 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 da. All right, no, commercial. <laughs> oh my God, I have to go soon, I have to teach. Let me see, can I copy? 
Dream up. Sorry, I left this chat for so long. I was like looking on the internet. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, little excess. <laughs> lessons as a, um, getting lessons as a beginner, I think can either be like they can be overwhelming. What I recommend, like if you're really just starting to play an instrument, um, I feel like I say this all the time now, but just learn, find like your favorite favorite songs and either get on a YouTube tutorial so you can like watch the person's hand um, and learn something super, super simple, like as little chords as possible for guitar. Um, and then just like, just work on your favorite tunes, work on like the strumming because there's so much just like basics that come with just that activity on its own. Um, you know, getting, getting like your hand to stretch and like all that stuff that you could get an instructor, but you almost don't need that yet. Right. And that also goes to show you if you have enough dedication to do that, um, like sit down and learn a song and consistently practice it, that shows you that you're, um, that you like will give it the time of day for a long period of time, right. That you're not just going to get bored and like have spent all this money on an instructor and then it goes to waste. Radioactive. That's a cool one. I like that idea. Let me see. Okay. Let me see what time my lesson's out. Because I also have to go eat some food. I mean, no, don't do that. Okay. All right. Let's say at 2.30, I've got to check out. <laughs> oh my god, Wolfpack. Yes. And that's actually, Wolfpack might be a little hard... Is that for beginners stuff? But Wolfpack is not for beginners. It's so fun. We're actually doing the Wolfpack version of Express Yourself on New Year's Eve. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. It's lettuce. What am I talking about? Uh, let's check it. Express yourself. Uh, 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 uh. Da, 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 da. Yeah, King of the Clouds is a really great one. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> They're not secrets because it's definitely not the same thing to hear the songs played than to hear me just jam on top of the two. <laughs> it's not going to be anything like that. I'm going to be like running through my pedal board and like all kinds of all kinds of excitement. Plus Molly. If you haven't seen Molly Miller play guitar, yo. <laughs> Ariana Grande song? NASA. NASA 100%. It's basically me and all my relationships. <laughs> it's not hard to memorize a song for stage. It's just like more of the... It's kind of like you have to ignore what you're actually like, what's happening around you of like getting on stage and like you know, entertaining people, you have to like let go of that and just kind of like play the music, right? Because if you get in your head, at least for me, I can 100% forget an entire song if I panic and have like a, a stage fright episode. Piano is so fun. Somebody teach me how to shred on piano. I'll be down. Yeah. Kaylee, 100% on that. I, f I feel that for myself, too. What are you... Ryan West, Stan? I mean, sure. I don't really know Ryan. Keen to shred on piano? I mean, I can, like, play little chords on piano and, like, accompany myself singing, um, which I'll probably do eventually, but... Um, that's kind of it. I can't, like, improvise on piano. <laughs> what is your semi-gross tour-related question? I'm so curious. <laughs> I 
Wait, where did it go? <laughs> the the okay so the pre okay um <laughs> these questions are amazing you guys the pre-show playlist um basically it, it kind of varies because we all have different things that we like um they all love to listen to like for a while it comes in chunks right everybody likes different stuff at different times but for a while they were really into like metal and like just heavy stuff which is was really new for me um like I, di I didn't know any of the songs they would turn on um but for me then like if they let me control it I'm turning on like D'Angelo <laughs> like SZA <laughs> stuff like that um I like to sing to warm up for a show like um not vocally just like sing to like get in like a zone you know um <laughs> Did you ask me how to deal with periods on the road? That is an amazing question. I will talk to you about it. I have no shame. No poop shame. No period shame. Um, we'll come back to that. But then, like, sometimes for the playlist, it's just a lot of, like, throwbacks. You know, like, Blink-182 kind of vibe. So we can all, I'm sure you've seen videos of us belting, stuff like that. Because everybody knows that stuff and everybody can just get super psyched. So that's, that's generally what we listen to. Um, I'll do really quickly on this periods and bathroom stuff on tour um it's really you can't poop on a bus and you can't put toilet paper or anything obviously related to that down a toilet in a bus so all that kind of goes hand in hand um anything that's not pee this is a great topic way to go um so you can imagine that like the trash can is full all the time of whatever's in there and then Every morning, if you have to get up and, like, you're, like, a scheduled pooper, you, like, it's kind of the whole bus does it, right? Everybody gets up, everybody makes their coffee, and everybody jets and finds a bathroom. And you, that means, like, you get off the bus and you're, like, walking around these, just, like, these hallways full of people either going into, like, a bathroom that everybody knows what you're going in there to do, right? You just woke up, you're in your PJs, you have your coffee in hand, and you're not using the bus bathroom. It's so obvious and it's so, you just get so jaded after a while. You're like, I don't care. And it smells terrible in there because not just you, but the crew, everyone, all these like giant men have been using the same bathroom. But then there's me. Luckily, I'm one of the few girls that's back there. So what I'll do, <laughs> Damn, I'm just saying, <laughs> what is this? Friend was like, <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so funny. No period shame. No period shame. Um, anyways, I go into the venue, like where you guys go pee, and I'll do my business in there, like in the girls' bathroom, because there's no one there, and it's just like alone and peaceful. So, just letting you know, next show, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these topics, like, these questions are perfect. There's so much stuff like that, like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I'm sure I could come up with lots of other stuff, but that's, that's a great place to finish, actually, because now it's 2.30. We might be pooping in the same toilet, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head out because I really need to eat before I teach. Um, I freaking love you guys. I, every time I get on here, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna, like, get on here for an hour, and then I gotta run and do this, but we always get caught up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get caught up again. I have to go. I love you guys. We'll talk soon. Um, day after tomorrow, if you wanna come hang. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. There you go. I'll, I'll check out the Discord, too, but not right this second. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Hehehehe <laughs>